Okay, I don't know how much you can see, but we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Heath Kit 19, ID 1990 digital barometer and clock. Got this off of a fella in the state of Michigan on eBay. Invoice, paper, space on the SD card so I had to clear it off uh, we'll get the time and the date set I got this from a gentleman in Michigan who is pretty much an expert on these weather stations Heath kit weather stations in general and he rebuilds and refurbishes many of them uh, he did tell me that it's gonna take at least 15 minutes for the barometer to be a, come acclimated and as you can see it's slowly falling now um, I don't know what our current pressure is outside anyway it's, I had one of these back in the uh, late 1980s when we lived on Main Street Newcomers Town this Never understood why Heathkit would build something like this. I'm not going to open it to show you what's inside of it. I will show you what the schematic looks like, though. This is what they call the oven. The sensor is inside of there to tell you what the pressure is. And this is what the oven is, what it looks like on the uh, schematic or on the operation booklet. And bit of it there this is I thought this was a copy but apparently this is the original there's the rear, rear panel connections batteries getting low now more of the rear panel connections anyway close it now and then uh, I'll charge the battery and then uh, I will do some more video tomorrow or sometime soon afterwards to give you an idea of how this thing is doing. Here's a quick overview of some digital barometers recorded October 28th, 1037 p.m. This is the Heathkit ID 1990. This is a unit I purchased off of eBay a couple of months ago. Just received it back from a friend of mine out in Western Ohio who remanufactured or not really manufactured it, but actually just uh, cleaned it up, brushed it up, had a couple of items in it that needed to be replaced, so he did that for me. And this will give you the high pressure and the low pressure, which needs to be reset since the reset time. It will also give you the rate of change. You can see it shows steady, so it will show zero for a rate of change. The Heath Kit ID 4001, pressure 3009. The 1990, pressure 3009. I spent a day and a half synchronizing these two barometers on these two Heath Kit units. And here is the Heinz, and it shows a pressure of 3009 as well. And uh, it's coming along. All three of these are working the way they should, as far as I know. 
it'll be interesting to see what these two barometers do the 4001 and the 1990 when the next storm system comes along which will be Thursday into Thursday night and Friday we could have a significant amount of rainfall and wind and some fairly decent pressure drops um, I'm also including on this video a clip of uh, a, a adjustment to a previous 1990 unit that I had back in the middle 1980s might be the oldest known footage that I'm aware of of an ID 1990 in operation that far back I believe it was the year was 1984 or 1985 pretty, pretty sure it was 1984 so that'll be on here as well and uh, you'll be able to see what it looked like back then of course they're the same unit so no real big difference shows the pressure falling now in the 1990s so that shows a pressure change of 0 0.01 in three hours so until the next time to preview the Heathkit ID 1990 digital barometer which is this unit here it's time and date flashing every seven seconds you have seven seconds then it goes to date for three seconds then back to the time and that's what the uh, Heathkit 4001 does too as you'll see So there you have it. In Ohio, I'm Don Keating.